Just a few miles from London, you will find Walton Heath Golf Club. This stunning Heathland layout was opened in 1904 and has hosted many great tournaments. Now it's time to host the latest chapter in its storied history, the AIG Women's Open. Fans flocked in their thousands and they were treated not just to world-class golf, but also a new festival village which welcomes young and old fans alike to this major championship. Thursday, August 10th, and it was an early start for three of the players. The first trio on the opening tee were Alison Lee, Maria Fassi and Mel Reed. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Walton Heath and to round one of the AIG Women's Open 2023. On the tee, from England, Mel Reed. It was the latter who had the honour of getting the 47th AIG Women's Open off and running. Reed, the first of 144 who would start their journey here throughout a long day. The AIG Women's Open attracted the very best in the game, and that included the winners of the previous majors this year. In April, Lilia Vu won the first of the season's majors, the Chevron Championship in Texas. The American opened with a round of level part 72. The most recent major winner is Celine Boutier. She won the Amundi Evian Championship last month. Beautifully splashed out there by Boutier. A first round of 74 left her two over par on day one. This time last year, Ashley Buhai was winning at Muirfield. The defending champion began her defence with a two over par round of 74. What a shot from the defending champion. The most recent English winner of the AIG Women's Open was Georgia Hall. She won at Royal Lytham and St Anne's in 2018. Look at this. Oh, absolutely glorious. She too would open with a 74. Maybe this year we'll see another English win. Charlie Hull is full of confidence playing in front of a home crowd. And the 27-year-old returned a one under pass 71 on the opening day. The world's number one coming to Walton Heath was Nellie Corder. The American began her quest for the AIG Women's Open title with a one under pass 71. There you go. Someone's got to three under par. It's Emily Pedersen. And Emily would be joined by four others on that three under par score. Jaravi Boonchant highlighted the quality of play on day one as he moved to three under here on the 17th. Amy Yang's putter was also hot on day one as she joined the quartet on minus three. That was also the case for Perrine Delacour. All right, look at that. Rattles that one into the back of the cup. Perrine Delacour joining the leaders at three under par. 
But as the opening day at Walton Heath drew to a close, Ali Ewing would go one better than the rest of the field. Late afternoon playing conditions were perfect for the American. Today. Ewing posted a four under par 68 and held a one shot lead going into Friday. Ali Ewing heads a packed leaderboard by one stroke after the opening round. Zhong Yun Li is part of a tie for third on three under par. It had been a stunning Thursday at Walton Heath, and round two would see a continuation of both the great weather and fantastic golf. Day two saw the world number one begin her move up the leaderboard. One under par heading into the weekend, and Corda wasn't the only one making a move. A birdie three in one of the toughest holes on the course, classic Nelly Corda. Nasa Hataoka followed her opening round of 70 with a second round 71 to move to three under par. Excellent shot, pin height, birdie chance. One better than Hataoka would be Hyo Ju Kim. Back to back rounds of two under 70, steady as she goes. Minami Katsu would finish on five under at the halfway stage. Go on. Yay! Get in. A second round of 70 saw Mexican Gabby Lopez move to four under. Oh, I'll tell you what. She's got it. Go on. Yeah. Get out of here. Angel Yin made her move three under going into Saturday after a second round 69. And the class of Lilia Vu began to shine through as she moved to minus four after two rounds. Lilia Vu gauges this absolutely perfectly. A four under par 68 moved Andrea Lee to five under. Oh, I'll walk that one in. But not everything was going smoothly for Charlie Hull. Walton Heath is a true test of golf when you go offline. She's just caught it on the way back down and it's just changed the trajectory of the club face. But in front of the home fans, Hull gave them something to cheer as her challenge continued. Hello. Well, what a birdie that's turned out to be. Wow. Don't you just love this game? Charlie Hull definitely in the frame at five under par at the halfway stage. 
As for the overnight leader, well, things were going perfectly for Ali Ewing. The 30-year-old from Fulton in Mississippi, cruising along around Walton Heath. Nice to get to nine under. It's oh, got another. Beauty. Never looked out, did it? From the moment she hit it, full of confidence. Out in 30. Oh, but she is unbelievable today. Missing absolutely nothing. What a round of gold she's got going here. Her only blemish came at the closing hole. And it is going to be just the one drop shot. Well, well and truly surpassed by the fact that there were seven birdies to go along with it out there in that 66 today. Ali Ewing leads by five at the halfway stage, but the leaderboard is stacked with class behind her. It promised to be a compelling weekend at Walton Heath. On the tee from the USA, Ali Ewing. As Ewing made her way down the first, little did she know how the third day would turn out. And just like that, the lead is going to be three shots. Well, they're just not going in. Come on, come on. Oh. The difference today makes. Yesterday they were all going in. Saturday at Walton Heath would prove to be a tough one for Ewing. The three-time LPGA Tour winner would drop three shots to finish seven under. Time then for others to make their move. She's such a game changer. That is box office stuff from Nelly Corder out there today. An eagle three at 11. Showing you why she's world number one today. Four birdies in the final six holes for Amy Yang. She is in the hunt at four under. Come on, come on, yeah! Good round. Best we've seen thus far today. Having to contend with a severe side slope, trying to get the ball to launch straight up in the air, avoid the heather, chase on down towards the flag, and this is a spectacular shot. Just like that. American Andrea Lee shot a level par 72 and remained on five under. Three shots better was G.I. Shin, who moved into the top ten on five under as well. Has she got enough to get up there? Oh, has she ever, you little beauty. It was also a good day for Lynn Grant, who's 68, got her to four under. Oh, she's got it online. Go on, ball. Oh, wow. <laughs>
Another to shoot 68 was American Angel Yin. She was right in the mix on eight under par. And her score would be matched by Hyo Ju Kim. Both would end up just one shot behind the overnight leaders. Day three at Walton Heath would also see one of the pre-championship favourites make her move. Go on. Oh, get in there. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Wow, what a shot. Pure class from Lilia Vu. The Americans' play was matched by England's Charlie Hull. Wonderful. Oh, the break's on when it was on its way in, and it's a tap-in birdie coming up. Hull and Vu became the players to catch. Charlie Hull is on the charge. Lydia Vu looking to end the major season, how she started it. Vu shot a third round 67. Hull shot a 68. They were locked together on nine under at the top of the leaderboard. 18 holes to go to see who would be the 2023 AIG Women's Open champion. So here we go, the final day of the AIG Women's Open. On the tee from England, Charlie Hull. Hull started the day nine under par. Could this be her time with the home support firmly behind her? On the tee from the USA, Lilia Vu. Vu also started the day on nine under. The American going for her second major victory of the season. Out on the course, players were making moves. England's Charlotte Heath would claim the Smith Salver as the leading amateur in 2023. Closing round of 69 meant US Open champion Alison Corpus would finish on four under, and that would be good enough for a top 10 finish. Another to flourish on the final day was Olivia Cowan. She would finish on three under following a final round of 70. It would be the best major finish of her career and enough to be inside the top 10. Nelly Corder got her first birdie of the day on the 11th. However, the world number one was not going to win this week. 
For Lynn Grant, the day would not go as she would have hoped. The putter was cold and she would not feature as the putt slipped by. Four birdies and three bogeys in her opening ten holes for Amy Yang meant she moved to five under. A birdie on the sixth cancelled out a bogey on the fourth. So Ji Yai Shin stayed on the score. She started the day four under par. It was a mixed bag early on for Andrea Lee. Three birdies and two bogeys, but she wasn't out of it on six under. Angel Yin reached the turn on seven under. Two bogeys early on, and her only birdie of the front nine came here at the ninth. Hyuju Kim returned a level par 35 for the front nine, courtesy of three bogeys, three pars, and three birdies. Kim remained eight under into the back nine. And as for the overnight leaders, well, Hull had a shocking start with dropped shots on the third and again here at the fourth. Frustration then for Charlie Hull in the early stages of her final round, a move down the leaderboard to seven under. As for Lilia Vu, an early birdie on the second eased any nerves for the 25-year-old. The birdie at the second was followed by six straight pars. And then a serene journey around Walton Heath meant that she led the field by two on the ninth tee. So a magnificent championship moves into the business end of things with 10 holes to go for the leader. Hyo Ju Kim, now her nearest challenger, Hull and Yin at seven under par. Charlie Hull now three behind Lilia Vu at the turn. They've reached this stunning par three, playing 182 yards on this final day. Fairways and greens looking good for Vu now, but that's even better. Sets up a really good look for Birdie here on nine. Unbelievable crowds wrapped all the way around this short par three ninth. And the wind has just dropped as Charlie Hull unleashes that tee shot. Comes up a little bit short. And it's advantage view on the ninth. Incredible to think that Lilia Vu has missed four cuts since winning that Chevron Championship in seven starts since then. Hyoju Kim into the tenth. Just a little wedge here with the wind behind. That's nicely judged from the 2014 Amundi Evian winner. Angel Yin playing alongside her. Will she have learned from how that one reacted as it landed on the green? We'll sit down. That just grabs a piece of the back edge of the green. Now birdie putt for Charlie Hull. 
could really do with getting something going on this back nine. Currently three shots behind the leader. This one's looking like it's borrowing a bit too steeply for her. Left a little bit of meat on the bone there. So many deceptive twists and turns on these devilish greens. Yin to move to eight under par. Just straightened back the other way in its final few feet towards the hole. Birdie for Hyo Ju Kim to move within one of the lead here on the par four tenth. Gave it the lightest of tickles. Oh! Denied by millimetres. She'll stay two back. So the world number seven, just hanging around as Lilia Vu has this to move three ahead. Coming down the slope slightly here on the par three ninth and straight into the heart of the hole for Lilia Vu. Another birdie for the leader. She moves to 11 under, two under for the day. She looks dialed in, doesn't she, the American? So this really important for Hull. And no bother, swipes that one into the centre of the cup. Charlie Hull with work to do. It is now a three-shot lead for Lilia Vu. Hu Ju Kim on eight under, and Adriel Yin got her part on ten to stay alongside Hull on minus seven. Things got tricky as the players moved into the back nine. Back-to-back -back bogeys for Angel Yin saw her drop to five under par. Back-to-back -back bogeys at the 11th and 12th as well for Hyo Ju Kim. She slipped to six under. There was better news for G.I. Shin, as this birdie at the 14th moved her to six under par with four holes left to play. As for the leader, well, Lilia Vu kept her foot on the accelerator. Her approach play was imperious. She remained unshakable with the putter. This birdie at the 10th moved her to 12 under five, clear now of the nearest challengers. Charlie Hull was in need of inspiration and it came at the very next hole. With this stunning hole out from the bunker for Eagle. Charlie's dream of AIG Women's Open glory was still alive as she jumped to nine under and just three shots back of Vu. <laughs> Hull's challenge is reinvigorated, but it's still Lilia Vu in control. It's looking like a two-horse race with the rest of the challengers slipping backwards. And can Hull continue the momentum she's garnered from that incredible shot on 11? A cross bunker here, deceptively forward down the fairway, about 30 yards or so from the front of the green. Charlie Hull has overcooked that slightly through the back. Runner up in the US Women's Open a little earlier this season. Charlie Hull looking to go one better this week. But Lilia Vu is the lady currently standing in her way. Elaborate follow through from the American. And look, once again, straight at the flag to within a couple of feet for Lilia Vu. She is playing championship winning golf right now. 
No sooner does Charlie Hull seem to take the authority, but Lilia Vu snatches it back, Ewing, the 36-hole leader. Well, not the weekend she would have been hoping for after holding what seemed to be a comfortable lead after two rounds. But good to see her fighting back and still hanging around on Sunday. Amy Yang here for her eagle on the 16th. Been playing the easiest hole of this stunning golf course all week long. The par five curving round. Will it go in? No, just drifts by. And that should be a tap in birdie for Yang. She'll move to six under on the 16th. So with Vu in tight, can Hull find another magical moment to get those incredible fans cheering? It comes through the sunshine and as close as you like, just round the back of the hole for Charlie Hull. She knows how close that was. She knows how important that could have been to her AIG Women's Open dream. It was a brilliant lag putt from the five-time Solheim Cup player, but it does leave the door open for Vu to increase her lead by one once again. In it goes. And to 13 under par moves the Chevron champion. Four under for her round today. Just has incredible momentum. Tidying up for her par, Charlie Holt. So purposeful stride for Lilia Vu, the leader. And it's now a four-shot advantage for her with six holes left to play. She's looking good for a second major to take her to world number one. But winning is never easy. Deep into the back nine now. And this eagle putt for Ji Yai Shin wouldn't quite reach the hole. But the birdie meant that she moved from six under to seven, entering Walton Heath's final two holes. There were moments when Nelly Corder appeared to be making a serious challenge at Walton Heath, but on this occasion, the American would not feature at the top of the leaderboard as she finished on two under par. It had been a good week for Amy Yang. She had this for a birdie at her final hole. She would knock in the par putt for a closing round of 70, which would mean a six under par total and a top five finish for the four-time LPGA Tour winner. Charlie Hull was in need of inspiration if her AIG Women's Open dream was to come true. Unfortunately, this was a drop shot at the 15th. A three-part bogey saw her fall to eight under par. But there was still a ray of hope for Hull as Lilia Vu dropped her first shot of the day on the same hole. The Americans' lead going to the 16th tee was four over Charlie Hull. Lilia Vu then one hand maybe on the AIG Women's Open title, but Hull is capable of the magnificent as we saw on the 11th, and she needs to find something like that again. Four shots ahead then, Lilia Vu with three holes left to play. This, the par five 16th. Good scorable chance here for both players. Look at the crowds surrounding this green as the fairway dog legs round to the left. Pin cut on that front right quarter of the green today. Wonderful services at Walton Heath. That ball just didn't seem like it wanted to stop as it made its way towards the back of the green. But it's fine now for our leader. It's played downwind all week long and the players have really made hay. 
On this, Eagles and birdies galore. Charlie Hull needs a good score here, looking to put herself in line for an eagle chance, and that is looking very good indeed. Four shots behind, but what's that? Ten feet for eagle for Charlie Hull. She's not done yet. G.I. Shin, winner of the AIG Women's Open in 2008 and 2012 for a closing birdie. Across the green on 18. Uh, Lilia Vu, her eagle putt on the 16th. A couple of uh, borrows and twists for it to ride as it goes up the hill, then down over the ridge and towards the hole. And that's a beautiful roll from Lilia Vu. Great effort. Well, she'd have rolled that stone dead, it would really have applied some pressure to Hull's eagle putt. But still a chance of a two-way swing there as G.I. Shin finishes off her tournament. Tidying up then for par, two-time winner of this title. Way back in 2008 and 2012, finishes with a final round 77 under par for this tournament. Great effort for Shin, the first Asian woman to be world number one. And now Charlie Hull, is this the moment for her? Surely has to find the bottom of the cup with this eagle try. This or it's almost done and dusted for Charlie Hull. And there's the miss. It'll be a tap in birdie, but she needed that eagle to try and close that four shot gap on Vu at the top of the leaderboard. And it goes for Charlie Hull. Is that her race run? Vu, of course, still with a birdie putt to come here. Runner up at the Women's US Open not so very long ago, Charlie Hull. There'll be a high place finish for her on the leaderboard here, but uh, the title almost certainly looks to be going to this young woman. The 25-year-old from California, Lilia Vu, heads to the 17th tee with a four-shot lead. Birdies for both the top two on 16 means it's as you were. Lilia Vu has played the closing two holes in one under par so far this week. And just look at those crowds surrounding it there. A real mixture of faces and demographics in the crowd, young and old, male and female. They've all stayed out there to see if Charlie Hull can close out her first major championship. Par 3, 17th, and then the par 4, 18th left to play. And they've come for Charlie Hull, but they've stayed for Lilia Vu. This American who picked up her first major championship at the Chevron in Texas earlier on this year, the first major of the year, has played some absolutely supreme golf and has picked up a large legion of new fans around Walton Heath over the last four days. The brisk swing of Charlie Hull, so recognisable. And that was a swing of a player under pressure, wasn't it? Bouncing down into that rough, down the left-hand side, through the back. That's not a nice miss. The overhanging branches of the signature pine trees around Walton Heath could cause her some problems there as she tries to chip back up onto the putting surface. Ali Ewing, hopefully her final shot of the week. But that has run out of steam, as her challenge did over the weekend. But still warm applause, and there you can see a tournament of two halves. That is the lie of Charlie Hull's ball in that uh, wispy rough through the back of the green, the, the heathland that is so important, such a huge part of the Walton Heath challenge and that's a lovely shot from Charlie Hull with good connection behind the ball, short-sided onto the green. And how much does her mind now go to holding on to solo second place with Lilia Vu way out in front and putting for birdie here on the penultimate hole of the championship. Four shots clear for Lilia Vu. You'd say it's out of touch 
for Charlie Hull after that mistake off the tee. Will this one drop for Vu? It won't, but it doesn't need to. A tap in for par for Lilia Vu, and she will head to the 18th. And one more hole to play, and then she'll have her hands on the AIG Women's Open trophy. And the former amateur world number one will become the world number one with this victory. Hull to stay at nine under par. Well, that's the moment. That is the moment where the championship is handed to Lilia Vu. And what a story she has. Almost walked away from golf. And Charlie Hull knows. There's the heartbreak right there. She knows, but the facial expression on Lilia Vu said she was still focused, but that must clinch it for her. A five-shot lead heading to the final hole. Surely she can enjoy this walk now at Walton Heath. Hull needs a par to clinch solo second. Just stunning scenes across the Heathland and what a stage this has been for major championship golf for these women and for the crowds who followed them over the last four days. Lilia Vu stands on the final tee, driver in hand. And there it is, that metronomic swing, the elaborate follow through that landed her the Chevron crown in Texas at the start of the year and is going to clinch for her the final major of the year, the AIG Women's Open. It's almost a processional hole this for her. And what a celebration it's going to be for the young woman who, as I say, really struggled in her rookie year as a professional, almost walked away from the game, was persuaded by her mum to come back. She said she'd got too much talent to turn her back on it. And what a breakthrough year it's been for her this year. For Charlie Hull, the wait will go on. But she'll be happy with getting herself into contention when she looks back a couple of times at the majors this year, as we just see. Won't be happy with that tee shot, though. Bouncing down into the heather, and the heather is such an important part, has played such a massive role over the last four days. You just don't know what kind of lie you're going to get in there. Yoju Kim, birdie attempt at 18. It's not going to drop. She hasn't finished outside the top 20 in the first four majors of the year. And that run will be completed here at Walton Heath. Can Angel Yin finish with a birdie to move to five under par? Runner up at the Chevron to Lilia Vu. Oh, just kisses the left hand edge. That's a disappointing finish for Angel Yin. I'm sure we'll see her, though, part of Stacey Lewis's Solheim Cup team later on in the year in Spain. And four under par, enough for a fifth top ten in major championships for Angel Yin. Well, let's hope she's soaking this all in, Lilia Vu, enjoying that walk. It's Hyoju Kim tidying up for her part at six under. In it goes for the Korean. It's not to be a second major title for her here at Walton Heath, but uh, what a fight she put up, particularly in that third round on Saturday, 68, finishing with a 74 for the final round. And all eyes now trained on Charlie Hull back down the 18th fairway. Oh, this doesn't look pretty, Heather. Maybe the backswing is going to be curtailed here as well. Oh, she's got it out well. It's a bunker down that left-hand side, the big sprawling cross bunker across the face of the green. Such a picturesque closing hole at Walton Heath with that signature cross bunker. Charlie Hull has found the sand. And work to do not to drop into a tie for second. Well, Lilia Vu, we all know she's got this wrapped up now, but can she give these magnificent crowds one final birdie to cheer here on 18? Just the most casual of strokes with the wedge, and it comes to a stop, pin high, 20 feet from the flag. She's safely on the dance floor, and she will be the 2023 AIG Women's Open champion, her name already being engraved on that stunning trophy. 
And as others have faltered and ridden the roller coaster like Hull has today, she's just looked so steady. This is so tough for Charlie Hull. Long bunker shot, 50 yards. And you can hear the reception for Charlie Hull as her ball appears on the final green. Hers was the fairy tale they wanted to see, but the best golf of the tournament has been played unquestionably by Lilia Vu. She has looked like a major champion throughout the entirety of this final round. And she has her putter in hand as he marches up to the ball on the final green. Oh, that's just wonderful to see, isn't it? The young girl on Dad's shoulders, the handmade sign. And she will be desperately hoping this finds the bottom of the cup for Hull. Can Charlie Hull give them the grandstand finish and snatch second place? Outright she can. And Walton Heath explodes for Charlie Hull. What a moment for the Englishwoman. At home, just a few miles up the road in Kettering. And how she wanted to do it on these famous fairways, but a second runner-up position at a major championship for Charlie Hull this year. So the stage is clear for Lilia Vu to seal the 2023 AIG Women's Open. Come on. Oh, what a way to do it. You dream of making a birdie at the 18th to win a major. And that is exactly what Lilia Vu has done here at Walton Heath. 72-68, 67-67 over the weekend. And in the end, it was a procession. Stunning, stunning golf from Lilia Vu. With two major championships in a calendar year, she reaches a level of golf superstardom in the women's game. Ladies and gentlemen, the leading amateur and winner of the Smith Salver is Charlotte Heath. It had been a wonderful week at Walton Heath for Charlotte Heath, and this would be a moment she'd cherish forever. With a score of 274, the winner of the gold medal and the 2023 AIG Women's Open Champion is Lilia Gu. Now a two-time major winner and moving to world number one at just 25 years old. I knew it was going to be a tough battle out here. The course is not easy at all. And I think I just stuck to my game plan just one shot at a time and it turned out great. With the large crowds looking on, Lilia began her journey at Walton Heath with an opening day level par 72. My caddy said, all we need to do is just get in contention and then we can go from there. And on day two, she did exactly that with a four under par round of 68. Lilia Vu gauges this absolutely perfectly. Going into the weekend was just weight off my shoulders and then, okay, it's time to go now. And with shots like this, she started to make a real impact. I knew it was a good shot when I hit it. Go on. Oh, get in there. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, what a shot. I didn't know how good it turned out until I saw later on Instagram. On the final day, she led the field from the final group with the home favourite. On the tee, from England, Charlie Hull. Honestly, I didn't really let that affect me. I felt like, I don't think they were rooting against me, they were just rooting for Charlie. They were also clapping for my shots too. And she's really fun to play with. Oh, this is absolutely marvelous, come on! Yeah, it was a great shot. She was right up against the lip. It was just incredible. It was sick. I was so nervous. Where am I aiming this? And my caddy said, I think it's going to break left. And I was like, OK, right edge. And then I just hit the putt. And she was always going to finish in style. I 
couldn't believe it went in. It was just insane. Lilia Vu ultimately won, but Charlie Hull gave her a run for her money. It was probably one of the toughest tests I've ever played out here at Walton Heath. Just so tough and difficult. But it was very rewarding, and just to see my name next to Ashley Vuhai is just amazing. A wonderful week and a great AIG Women's Open champion in Lilia Vu. I think this is the biggest tournament I've ever won.